going on YouTube? My name is Paul, this is 251 Real. I hope everyone's having an awesome day. I'm going to kick this show off today talking about a hometown Alabama native from Clanton, Alabama named Dustin Connell. Dustin Connell won $300,000 fishing at FLW Red Crest event at Lake Eufaula. Now, if anybody knows Dustin Connell or you've been keeping up with him on social media, uh, he goes on YouTube by the name of DC Fishing. And I follow this guy. I watch him all the time. Him and Jacob Wheeler and Mark Daniels Jr. They all roommate together. And they're an awesome bunch of fishermen. But he calls Jacob Wheeler and says that Red Crest down in Texas, wherever it was going to be held at, was canceled because of the ice storm and it was going to uh lake eufaula and I, I could just tell that he was excited about it because he lives like two hours away from lake eufaula uh he fishes that lake and uh man what an awesome win three hundred thousand dollars now he he won this tournament actually by using his forward facing sonar by lawrence called uh active target uh, which is basically the same thing as Garmin Panoptics Live Scope, and now even Hummingbirds coming out with a new forward-facing sonar, which allows you to see uh, fish in real time. But this kind of technology is really, really useful once you really dial it in, because he beat the banks with jigs and he couldn't find them. He went further offshore and he couldn't find them. But he found this little honey hole of brush piles in about 8 to 12 foot of water. And he was taking a jerk bait. And he was just jerking over the top of them. He even had a deep diving jerk bait also. But that forward facing sonar allowed him to see the reaction of those bass. So whenever he went over the top of those brush piles, those fish were coming out of those brush piles and attacking that jerk bait uh, i mean it's it's just how awesome is technology and how far that it's came uh uh i actually captained the boat of my son and uh, uh the co-angler he is at uh, lake martin two weekends ago and uh, w i was trying to show them how to catch deep water spotted bass and uh they actually caught a few uh pre-fishing and they actually caught one on a uh, tournament day uh, deep water bass fishing uh, using forward facing sonar and uh, you know I was I was pretty proud of them at that moment excuse me I was pretty proud of them because they always beat the banks and in this tournament we were trying to work on something new and uh, using that forward facing sonar we we did actually get to see uh, bass actually attacking our uh, deep diving crankbait and it was it was pretty awesome but uh, you should always encourage uh, young fishermen or you know high school fishermen little kids that are fishing in middle school or just going out fishing with your kids that little kids have dreams and we all have dreams no matter what age you are you should never stop dreaming uh, it's your dream it's not someone else's dream so you have to cultivate that dream you have to water that dream like a like a, a flower or plant to see it come to life, to see it come to pass. And, uh, man, it was, it's, it's really awesome to see someone from, uh, Alabama, you know, he, he started out as a kid fishing and, and in his younger days, he fished a lot of, of tournaments and he stayed out on the water. But we always want to talk about or look at the success and, and make headlines with the success, but, but no one ever knew, you know, they never know about the times uh, when him and his wife, you know, got in fights because he spent so much time on the water or, it, you know, when he was out on these tournaments and, and trying to fish, you know, and trying to figure these fish out because that was his dream. And these little, these young anglers nowadays, man, I get to watch them on these weekends, man, they're dialed in and they, they're some great, great fishermen out here. I mean, in the upcoming uh, I guess years to come with the college fishing and uh, major league fishing and Bassmasters, these young uh, high school anglers, 
that you know they're really dialed in they're trying out they're studying these lakes uh i think as adults we should do all that we can to help them see that dream come to come to life and do all that we can do to make sure that these kids have the opportunity to go out and fish or, or try to figure out these tactics or, or just take them as far as that we possibly can go uh and to that next level so you know and we and even when doing that like the lakes are always changing your the patterns of fish are changing throughout the year through the pre-spawn the spawn the post-spawn so you you actually as an adult as a captain fishing with these kids you actually learn a lot too about bass fishing or, or different patterns that you know that are, are getting these bass to bite where they're setting up at i mean it's uh bass fishing really has come a long way and i don't know if it's just because of covid19 uh because there's no restriction on bass fishing it's just you and your boat you're out there fishing uh and being in the outdoors and maybe the uh the pandemic did cause a lot of people to get outdoors more but anyway uh dustin connell's three hundred thousand dollar win man i i i watched i watched it on youtube uh dc fishing for you guys that that uh don't follow him you need to get on there and follow him he has tons of great videos tons of awesome content and he shows you exactly how he catches fish how he breaks down the lake when he gets there and, and he just goes into a lot of detail uh, probably a lot of stuff that he shouldn't do but he does it just for the fact that for youtube content creator and uh just uh trying to make his channel grow so he is a uh, awesome fisherman and uh just being able to watch him win that three hundred thousand dollars man it was awesome uh toward the end of the video he talked about how he him and uh some of his family set out brush piles studying those brush piles and trying to uh figure them out throughout the year and how they set up in the brush piles and what they can fish on the brush piles to to catch bass so he spent a lot of time on the water uh trying to figure this technique out so i mean what an awesome win and and he was i mean it was just a big emotional victory for him and as i was watching the video you know i was i was thinking like all the time he must have spent on the water and all the sacrifice he spent on the water to become a champion there's just there's no winning at anything without some type of sacrifice and at the end when he got that big reward i know it had to be satisfying for him but uh as far as my channel goes guys uh we had a tournament on lake martin uh two weekends ago there was over 200 boats it was a uh, alabama i think it was a bass nation uh tournament out on lake martin with over 200 boats there was like 170 something uh high school boats and uh on the junior high school side or juniors uh fishing division there was like 80 boats so it was a huge huge tournament uh i'm gonna play a short clip for you guys uh one one time when the the kids actually doubled up on fish at the same time and they were just man they were excited and screaming let's go i mean we were all we're all happy i mean we didn't finish very good but we still had a good time we caught a lot of fish caught a lot of short fish but uh let me just roll this clip for you guys real quick Guys, we just doubled up like two at a time. And no one can see us because the bridge is blocking their view. <laughs> How sweet is that, bro? Show them that fast, Noah. That's number two. And then Ryan, come up with number three. We need two more bass. Oh, you about to lose your rod, Ryan. <laughs> Good job, man. That's awesome.
And all right, for all you uh, river fishermen out here on the uh, Alabama, uh, Mobile, Tinsaw River Delta area, uh, I had the privilege of going out on a Sunday with my younger son, uh, Garrett, and we we found some 60 degree water, which was off in these little creeks off the main river and a couple of little bayous and stuff. Wherever we could find boat docks or uh, any kind of cover, uh, stumps, uh, big cypress knobs, there were bass in them. These bass are getting up shallow right now. Uh, they're getting ready to spawn, and they are, I mean, it is time, folks. It's time to beat the banks out there. Uh, let me play just one little clip from uh, the Sunday fishing trip. I was using a black and blue jig, which you guys know I love flipping, and I flipped it uh, right up in, I mean, under a dock, all the way to the back of the dock as far as I could flip it. And there was a pretty nice bass sitting there. Let me play the clip. Alright, so there you go guys. Those bass are up shallow, man. Find some stumps, find some boat docks, find some structure, cypress knobs, whatever. Those largemouth bass are sitting there waiting on you to put a hook in their mouth. But back to the $300,000, man, that's a lot of money. I mean, that that's, I can't imagine winning that kind of money bass fishing, you know. At that point in time, I bet I bet him and his wife sat down and had a long cry because you guys know as well as I do, it takes time on the water to figure fish out. I mean, they just don't jump in the boat. You got to figure out where they're setting up, how to catch them, when to catch them, you know, uh, what kind of line to use, rods, everything else, man. I mean, it's just a, a mind-boggling time trying to catch bass sometimes, but we love it. And uh, for all these young kids out there, keep dreaming, man. This guy had a dream. Uh, he's, you know, and him being from the state of Alabama, you know, it just, it's even, it hits home to me. Because I know he was once a young little kid. He had dreams of going out there. And he, he followed those dreams no matter who or what told him he couldn't do it or how many times he got set back. He went after those dreams of becoming a tournament angler and trying to make a living and you know winning three hundred thousand dollars man you had to stop and just reflect and you could actually tell on this video like i said dc fishing on youtube watch his video of the emotional win he had at red crest lake eufaula 2021 uh, i mean he, he he lays it all out for you and what it took and how much sacrifice it was. He even set out brush piles and studied the brush piles and fished those brush piles trying to figure out when and how those bass bite and, and trying to just capitalize on that technique that he used to win. Um, but no matter the age you are, you all should have dreams. Whether you're a little kid, whether you're middle-aged, or whether you're old, you want to start some kind of business, you want to fish, you want to play sports, don't ever let anybody get in the way of your dreams, man. Because that's your dream. Nobody else is going to see your dream. You're going to have haters out there that that's not going to think you're worthy of the dream that you accomplish or goal that you accomplish. But hey, it's yours, it's not theirs. I mean, if, if you go back and you follow DC, he had a lot of tournaments and a lot of times when he didn't cash a check. And, I mean, you got to be feeling bad at that point. I feel bad whenever my kids on the boat don't catch a lot of, of, of fish or they don't, they don't make a good weight for that tournament. You know, I feel bad for them, but I know that that's their dream. They're out there. They're trying to accomplish something. They're trying to reach, you know, uh, the top ten or trying to get that big bass I mean, it's not just fishing. It's a skill, guys. It's a skill. But, uh, guys, I appreciate it. I appreciate 
uh, Circle T Designs. Her name is Stephanie at Circle T Designs. Uh, look her up. She makes uh, jerseys. She does just about anything you can think of. So uh, she's located in Sims, Alabama. Circle T Designs, guys. I really appreci appreciate your views. Uh, please like and comment, guys. Gets me into that YouTube algorithm that helps me compete with other channels. Uh, YouTube is a large platform guys and we all are trying to get our foot in the door uh thank you and have a good day guys i'll have more content on the way so look for it